Hey guys, it's me. It's like 11.50 at night. Can't sleep. Yeah, I would have been sleep, but people above me was having sex, going at it, and I'm like, I really don't want to hear that nonsense. I don't want to hear about it. It's not me, so I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> but anyway, what's up, YouTube? Uh, yeah, I've been away for for about a good week. Normally I normally would want to do like several videos that I could upload a day every day. But um I came to you guys today because I had remember the video um family matters family ties you know and what was the difference between the two? Well I said that I had about nine or ten people that were on my close family slash family matters friends well not anymore one of the people you know you know really really done something that I didn't like and I thought we were better than that I thought we were cool like that and that person lied on me on something I've never done on something I have never met, don't know too much about, and to say that I made them feel uncomfortable was a blatant lie. And I didn't appreciate that, so I kind of went ham on that individual. I didn't put the person's name out or nothing because I didn't I don't want to expose the individual but I didn't like that at all. I felt as if you know, if you if that was if that was a problem, you could have talked to me about it. You didn't have to go to um a source who already don't like me and then say that nonsense, a blatant lie. So I'm like, okay, if you're going to do that, if you're going to tell a lie, you know, because you feel as if I intruded in something, then just come talk to me about what made you feel uncomfortable because if I'm over your place and I'm already uncomfortable in a situation that I was put in and I had already made a firm decision, I'm not going to go over your house anymore. Don't then tell a lie to try to keep me away. You know, if you thought that it would be best of me not to come over your house um, because uh, some stuff that I'm not going to mention was going on, you know, and you, I guess you thought that I, I made, I guess they thought that I made them feel guilty about it. Now, if it made, if it made them feel guilty, then they should have just went on and be like, you know what, it'll be best, you know, because I'm, feel, I'm feeling guilty around you. I don't think that it'll be, um, I don't think it'll be good for you to be over here while I'm doing my dirt. And... I'd have been like, you know, cool. Wouldn't have been no problem because I'm saying to myself, okay, that's better on me that I'm not getting anything, um, that I'm not, you know, going to be involved in that. Oh, oh, guys, you guys got to excuse me. Oh, that was a big one. But like I said, I if, if you feel that way, I'm fine. It doesn't bother me, you know. And... I just wanted to talk to my YouTube people about it. You know, how would you feel if someone done that to you just blatantly lie? And the person, what gets me is the person don't know that I know. The person don't know that I know about it. They don't know that, they don't know that I know that they lied about me. You know, the person that I heard it from is one of, one of my other close friends that I'm cool with. Heard it from them. And I'm like, wow, thank you for keeping me informed about an individual that I thought that was cool. You know, so, you know, and, you know, I'm like, you know, you're going to make a lie and said I try to do something and push up on something. I don't, you know, come on now. If I wanted to do that, I could have been done that. You know, but I'm not that type of female. 
I'm not the type of woman to do something like that. So in my case, um, you know, in my case, whew, yeah, really, you guys gotta excuse me. <laughs> but in my case, if it if it's like that, then you know, I'm like I said before, I'm not the type of female. I don't do nothing like that. And if I wanted anybody's whatever, I could have it. I'm just that confident in myself, but I, like I said, I'm not that type of female, you know, and this individual don't have no shape, no body, you ugly as all hell, and, you know, it's not my fault you lay on your back, you know, that's, that's you, you know, I'm not like that, I don't have four or five six, seven different guys that I'm laying down with and, you know, then when somebody mentions something about it and asks you how do you feel, do it make you feel a certain way, you say no, and then you say that I'm calling you out. No, I'm not. I just asked you a question. So that really, really upset, really, it really didn't upset me. What it did, it hurt me because I thought we were friends. I thought we was better than that and I care a lot about you and don't get me wrong I forgive this individual and I still love this individual you know in a Christ like manner but I am just stating the facts of my opinion on how that should have been handled if a person felt a certain way and they should have told me instead of going behind my back telling a blatant lie that is no truth in it at all you know, that is what got me. I'm like, it's no truth. And I don't even, I don't even know what you, it, it, it was to a point, YouTube, that I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Like, really? Really? You know, I, I was about ready, you know, I had to retract my comment. I put on FB. I'm like, I, mm -mm. no, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to give you the satisfaction or the time to um, lift up that negativity crap on and put it out there like that. I'm not going to do that. So I'm not going to call you any names or nothing. Just, you know, ask people, you know, Lord, pray for me because it almost took me there. I had to, I mean, I was outside of my element for a while, my YouTube family. I, I'm, do you hear me? Are you listening? I was really outside of my element. I could not believe I allowed the devil to use this individual to take me outside of my element. Really. And I had to get on my knees and I had to pray for that person and pray for myself. You know, because I'm saying to myself, I'm like, this this is absolutely, nobody should, you know, take me out of my element. Nobody. You know, so I said, okay. But um, that is what was on my mind, and I was like, you know, it happened, I think it was Sunday, so it's been a little, little uh, less than a week, you know, and that pretty much, uh, I come to you guys with that, you know, but I also wanted to say, let me see, hold on, let me, I got to see what time, yeah, okay, I got, got some time. But uh, what got me, I'm like, okay, you know, um, this one lady sent Haas Twins a message, and it was like, you know, you know, um, my uh, boyfriend's sex life is turned down because, you know, prison changed his sex life. And I'm like, okay, if he ain't screwing you like he used to, and he's leaving at 4 a.m. in the morning, hanging around with a bunch of men, and he be gone two days, that nigga is screwing somebody in the butt that's a dude. Or he getting screwed. And then you're going to turn around and say that he asked you to slap his rear end. Like, really? And that's something he's never done before. That dude is gay. That dude is gay. And you sleeping with a gay dude. You don't know what you're going to come back with. Because them folks in jail, they don't play no games. They don't use condoms or nothing like that. You know, you don't know what you didn't got up, got up with. You need, honey, you need to get yourself checked by all means. Anytime he's stuttering because he don't want to have sex with you when he do it anyway, you don't. I that, you know, I I don't understand that girl. He was locked up for eighteen months. That's a year and a half. 
you know how many do listen honey do you have any idea how many mushroom tips he didn't had inside his butthole have any idea do you know how many ideas how many mushroom tips you know he been in and how you know been in his, been somebody else butthole and how many mushroom tips been in his you gotta think lightly before you do you know what i had a relationship i used to um date and he went to prison for 12 years he said well you gonna wait on me do you honestly think i'm gonna be a fool to wait on you and i don't know what's going on behind prison wall doors you know, I don't know how many times you didn't drop the soap easily and how many times you like getting what you got or what you like doing. So, I ain't no relationship, I ain't no future there. When he go in and when he come out, I'm not going to be there. Because to me, that's more like an undercover brother. And I don't play games like that. And if I was that lady, I would have left a long time ago. When he went in, I would have left. I wouldn't give a her if I loved him enough. I'm going to love you enough to leave you alone to save my own self. You ain't got no kids with this man and you ain't married to him. So just leave. Move on. You know, why are you just sitting up and talking about some what should you do? Use your head. Any real woman would have used her head. You know what? You done been to jail. You don't want to. And your family members are telling me that you hanging out with a bunch of men all times of night. Oh, no, honey, you is straight out gay. A nigga in prison done turned you completely out. I'm so serious. They done turned you completely out. You are, he's gay. Move on. For you wind up with the herpets, as the Hodge twins would say. Herpes is called herpets. And that's how they pronounce it. You're going to wind up with something you can't wash off. You better leave quick and stop asking questions and use your common dog on sense, girl. But yeah, YouTube, this, you know, I'll holler at y'all another time. I probably would do a review on my um, Janet Collection wig. Probably, I might do it this, I might do it this, uh, sa I might do it Sabbath morning. Sabbath morning, uh, before I go to church, I would do a um, I would do a review, um, you know, before I go to Northside Seventh Day Adventist Church. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and uh, get that, you know, up, get that up. But I won't upload it till Saturday night. But I'm gonna end up getting it done Saturday morning. But I won't upload it until Saturday night. Then, then again, I may upload it while I'm on my way there. I don't know. So just be on the lookout for a Janet Collection review update. So yeah. For twenty nine ninety nine at Ha Ha's Beauty, local beauty supply store. So I love you guys. And to my new subscribers, I think it's three or four subscribers that subscribed to me. Um, thank you for subscribing and I love you. And continue to have people subscribe. Bye.